What's going on guys? It's another episode. Uh, today we're not doing race car stuff. It's kind of related, but it's it's supporting the race car. Today we are putting in towing mods for the Tacoma here. So this is the daily, but it also pulls the Cresta and uh, to make things a little bit more comfortable when I tow, um, we're putting in a towing brake controller so that way I can tow a non-U-Haul trailer that has a lot of brakes that uh, my car can't control so now it should be able to. Um, and then we also got the airlift bags. Um, I get a little bit of saggy butt. A little? Oh, a lot. <laughs> yeah. This bed, this thing right here gets down to like my belly button when I have something loaded up. So, uh, um, yeah, we're putting in bags today to help support some of the weight when I'm towing and maybe the ride comfort is a little better. We'll see. I've never towed with bags, but it makes sense. Um, you can see how beat up the original shipping box was. I had a deal on this on Amazon warehouse deals. Uh, I think this bags are normally like 250 and this was like 100 bucks off because it was in a beat up box. Um, yeah, so hopefully nothing's wrong with these bags and uh, we'll throw them in today. So let's go ahead and get started. Huey's getting the car set up to work underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these bags uh, just so they're ready to go underneath. And because Huey actually follows directions less than I do, so. <laughs> but. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> so yeah, it's real simple, but uh, you'll watch it on that. So I'm gonna get to work. Justin's assembling the bags. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, taking out my interior where I'm gonna put my button. Uh, the button is gonna go right here, but I don't have a plug for it, so I'm just gonna drill the plastic, but I need to get this plastic thing out first. So I have plastic pry tools. I need to unconnect all these and then drill this out. I don't even know what that's for, but I'm gonna have to shave all that down and make a circle for the, uh, the red arc controller. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out. <laughs> assembly and tighten the top nut and we have the air fitting installed so now these can go back in and get bolted in permanently so yeah let's go ahead and bolt them in <laughs> so this side kind of sucked um, the reason for it was this bracket was kind of bent and we had to hammer it out to get it to fit or to get the bolt holes to line up in the factory holes right so yeah maybe that's why it's a, it was a hundred dollars cheaper but with the big sledge and uh justin's crafty work we were able to get it to bolt up right so there's the top one and then you have the bottom hole down there both of them weren't lining up so uh yeah now they're good it's in uh we can run the airlines there's a nice spot where there's just plastic and no metal um, there's a harness there, but I had to just flip the harness where the connector sure was. Is it too dark? Uh, we'll show you real quick what it looks like. That's the hole. Um, this harness was uh, the other way, like flipped it. So I just rotated the zip tie and clipped it up top, and then that's where the fitting will go. Like that. Cool. 
All right, so these are how my airlines are ran. The line that runs down, that's the line that goes to the license plate where it all runs in, and T, and that goes to the left and the right. So um, I drilled holes in the bed to run the lines and secure them, which worked pretty well over there on that side because that's the exhaust side, and I wanted to tuck the airline up. So that's how we have it ran, and then down to the actual airbag. The other side is on this side as well, but... I don't know, it's hard to see because of all the stuff in the way. It's above that. There's your airline. And to the bag. All right, go for it. Air it up? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. That was 20? That was 20 PSI. It was like, <laughs> it was like half an inch? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Uh, I think the paper says max 100, so right. stay away from that. <laughs> Alright, we'll put 50 PSI in there. Okay. You got, you got an inch. Sick. Come on, air down, air down. No. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's it. Hold on, wait. I gotta take off the air compressor. Let me turn it off. Oh my god. Oh, Quick, there's I can't air down that fast, so I'm gonna have to connect my, my, my oh. air pressure. Oh. You don't want to just drop it as fast as I can go? Pull the straighter valve out. The girls are here. <laughs> air down. Hold on. Hold on. That's so sick. Hot yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh boy. So I went ahead and ran the wiring for the brake controller. Um, I JB welded the adapter after I sanded down the plastic to get it to fit nicely. Like that. You can see in there, sorry, that's the loop. The brake controller is back in there and it's just zip tied into, um, like there's a metal frame that's in there, right? Now, I bought the Red Arc adapter. I don't know if you can just look up in there, but behind my clutch pedal, uh, I tuck the wiring harness. That right there is the brake controller, and then my ground runs to this uh, bracket, or this, you know, whatever module that is. So that's my ground wire. And now everything is connected. I ended up having to actually use the plate that was included because uh, I wasn't able to click the button before. As you can tell, there's an audible click, right? Um, that wasn't working because of how thick the plate was. It wasn't letting me push the button, so I had to take it back out, drill a bigger hole, use the little um, blank that they gave me for their trailer break. But what's also cool is that you saw me press it and the light came on, so we know we've got some sort of power. So that pretty much wraps up the install of the towing controller and the airbags and took it for a ride. Everything feels fine. Um, I left some air in the bag so that way I could check on per the instructions in 24 hours to see if I have any leaks. But for the most part, everything is working like it should. Can't test the towing controller because I don't really not pulling anything. I don't have a trailer behind it, but it's functioning like the instructions said in terms of me just being able to drive around. So uh, I'm happy and we'll see what happens when I actually pull something. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe to our channel for more content on Cresta's and probably more Tacoma stuff, but it's for us, the Tacoma is just the daily. So thanks guys for watching and we'll catch you later.